Hi friends, thank you for joining me today. My name is Andrea and this is the fifth episode of my Itaki Shibuki series. If you're new and you haven't checked out any of my other episodes, check them out. So far, I've made beef and broccoli, tomato beef rice, pepper steak, and kimchi pork belly fried rice. Today, I'll be showing you how to make beef galbi. I don't know about yours, but in my family, all the guys are huge fans of Korean beef short rib grilled to delicious perfection. So naturally, I wondered if I could do something similar with the shibuki pot, and here's what I came up with. Let's get started. As usual, you need to prep the night before. First, we're gonna start off by prepping a single portion of rice. For us, that's 80 milliliters, which is basically two cups of the little cup that comes with the Ataki Pro. Next, portion out how much ever kimchi you want for lunch. Cut up a small crown of broccoli into bite-sized chunks and put them in a separate container. This recipe is for about one pound of beef short rib. To start, you're going to want to buy the flanken style short rib, which is short rib cut across the rib into one half inch thick flattened slices as opposed to English style beef short rib, which is short rib cut between the ribs with a large chunk of meat sitting on top. Take your flanken style short rib and cut it into pieces between the bone, making each piece about three inches across. Normally I wouldn't do this, but you need to be able to cook it evenly and properly in the little shibuki pot. Next, sprinkle two tablespoons of brown sugar over top and stir until each piece is coated in brown sugar. Set this aside for 10 to 15 minutes. Next, mince eight cloves of garlic, dice one onion, and smash two thumb-sized pieces of ginger. Grate a pear to get about two teaspoons of flesh. The pear is added to marinate the meat and make it more tender. It's perfect if you have Korean pear, but in a pinch, you could also use something like an anju or a Bosch pear. Combine these in a leak-proof Tupperware container or a plastic bag with a zip top, together with one teaspoon of mirin, one quarter cup of soy sauce, two teaspoons of sesame oil, and half a teaspoon of ground black pepper. Mix to combine, then add the short rib to the marinade. Remove as much air as possible and massage the bag for about a minute or two to make sure that the marinade reaches each piece. Refrigerate for at least three hours or overnight. If you've prepared your marinade in Tupperware, just be sure to mix well. Now, take a break and eat the rest of your pear. All right, so it's almost lunchtime, about half an hour before you're ready to cook. Take the meat out of the fridge and let it come to room temperature. While the meat is coming to room temperature, let's cook the rice. To do this, we'll add a good amount of water to the rice, swirl the rice around, and then pour the water out. Do this another two times. This just cleans the rice and gets rid of any excess starch. The water to rice ratio is one to one, so we're going to add 80 milliliters of water to our washed rice. Then add about two cups of water to the shibuki pot. Place the bowl of rice into the steamer basket and place the steamer basket on top of the shibuki pot. Close the lid and turn the pot to low. Let it steam for 25 minutes. All right, once the rice is ready, drain and dry out any excess water from the shibuki pot. Turn on the shibuki pot to low and add in a tablespoon of oil. Then add two to three pieces of short rib to the shibuki pot and let it cook for about two to three minutes per side. Be careful not to crowd the shibuki pot, otherwise your pieces may not cook evenly. Continue to cook until all your pieces are done. I found that one of the drawbacks of grilling the beef kalbi in the shibuki pot is that the sugars from the marinade sticks to the bottom of the pot and burns. In this instance, after the spare ribs have been removed, add water and scrape off the burnt bits, wipe clean, and add more oil and continue as before. Finally, garnish with toasted sesame seeds and thinly sliced green onion and enjoy.
Here it is, friends. The beef is tender and juicy. The flavors are sweet and savory. So what did you think? Obviously, nothing compares to flame-grilled beef galbi, but I think this is a nice consolation if you don't have a grill. Thank you again for joining me today. If you tried out my recipe, please leave a comment below on how it turned out. I'd love to know. Don't forget to subscribe for more fun food ideas to make in the Shibuki pot. Until next time, friends. Mwah!